Today my mom's going to show you how to stop a doll from climbing out her cage. Today you will need zip ties, zip ties, scissors, knife, and a yoga mat. Cut the yoga mat in the middle. We have cut the two we've cut the yoga mat in two and now we are going to cut holes in it to put it on the fence. Okay, so this is the end product. This took about one full yoga mat and then half of another yoga mat. So there's still a little bit of yoga mat left, but it's literally half of the yoga mat, so we can't use it, but um, we'll keep it. So what we did here is that we did I think about three zip ties per section of fence. And then we also did a zip tie on the corners. And just to make sure that everything was as tight as it could be, we made sure to follow and do them all in order. So what I've learned in doing this is uh, we figured out that she will escape from the corners of the gate. The tarp that I have here, it's eight feet by, I think it's an eight by five, and it just fits perfectly. This is a standard fence. I'll make sure to link it below. And the fence comes with it's regular method of closing and it's still here. So it just made another slit here so that the original little clasps, which honestly, these were no match for her. She is a professional escape artist. So the, the clasps, um, didn't keep her in and we've used those binder clips as well. But this is what we like to call her condo. This is her area. If we're going to go and run errands or she, you know, needs to eventually learn how to spend a little bit of time herself. This is the area. So we're going to put her in now and then you will get an idea. So she's in. <laughs> You're going to see. Yeah, she's. She goes to the corners, which I've just realized. She's very, 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 very good at what she does. As soon as she realizes that we are about to leave. 
<laughs> she is going to try to escape. So, there you go. She has chosen her area. And then you're going to see her climb. So you can see she's trying to climb and then she realizes that she can't get any higher than that. So she's going to go to another corner area. <laughs> she's going to go to every corner. She's so smart. There she is in the back. She'll climb as high as she can go and then realize that there's no more for her to climb. So she's going to go from corner to corner. That's the corner she's had the most success with. That's the one with the latch. So she's going from section to section. I just wanted to give her some time to get used to the new climbing. And because she climbs like this, we haven't been able to put her travel cage close to the edges we had to put it in the middle because she has climbed on top of her travel cage as well so there she goes she's halfway up and then is coming back down <laughs> so guys I think that's a success I think we have stopped her from climbing out um, even though this area that she's in is contained anyways because there's boxes preventing her from getting out. Just wanted to make sure that she was in an area that was safe. Oh, she quit. <laughs> if she were to have any accidents, it wouldn't be an issue. So we hopeful, um, we are hopeful that there's no more updates about puppy escaping. And we do hope that this has been helpful to someone out there. Please let us know if, this has been a benefit to you. Give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, take care. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs>